W-E-A-F, New York. pack of Avalon cigarettes, please. Yes, sir. Oh, just a moment, sir. Don't forget your change. You never guess, but Avalon's cost you less. So why not always Avalon with Avalon? Good evening, friends. Good evening. This is Del King saying welcome to Avalon time with greetings from Red Foley, Jeanette, Bill Davis, and the Avalon Orchestra, and the only man in radio who brags because he can read and write, Red Skelton. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rod. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, say, uh, Skelton, did you go to the Lewis and Roper fight? No, I didn't go. I don't think I missed much either. I was talking to Roper, and he said he's sorry he went. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for Lewis, though. He don't get a fight much anymore, but at least he gets around. <clears throat> I used to be a fighter. Hey, Skelton, I... you never fought in your life. Say, microphone, you're making so much noise, I can't hear what I'm saying. You ain't missing anything. Yeah. <laughs> I feel great tonight. I've been out playing golf all day. I shot a 73. Boy, it's the toughest hole I ever played. <laughs> now, I really played 19 holes. There's only 18. I dug another one. <laughs> Oh, what a golfer I am. Good evening, folks. A little late there. The, uh, I'm really a golfer. They call me the Hazard Kid. I was on the fairway once last season. <laughs> I was in one bunker so long that a guy came around and handed me a paycheck. He thought I was working there. <laughs> Look, and they was, uh, every time I'd, I'd take a swing at the ball, I dug a hole deeper. I dug a hole so deep I came up with a Chinese accent. <laughs> On the third hole, I w my ball went right into a spinach pad. <laughs> it took me eight strokes to get out of the roughage. <laughs> mm. <laughs> On the tenth hole, I, I, I thought I saw a snake, and I picked up a stick to hit it, and I fainted. <laughs> what I hit was a stick, and what I picked up was a snake. <laughs> On the eleventh hole, I got a birdie. Boy, I was kind of proud, too. That's the first time I ever got a birdie without telling a joke. <laughs> mm. You meet a lot of important people playing golf, though. I met Sally Rand. She plays a good game. In fact, she goes around in nothing. <laughs> but, you know, there's nothing like getting up every morning at 6 o'clock and going out and playing 18 holes of golf and come back in and take an ice-cold shower. <laughs> of course, I don't do it. I only read what's here on the paper. <laughs> well, I've been up here teeing off long enough, so I'll step aside and let Red Foley play through with a cowboy and the lady. Hit it down the fairway, fella. You got a lot of nice people waiting to caddy for you. The cowboy and the lady Met there on the prairie that was painted by the western sun above. An old trail, cool and shady, led them to the prairie where the cowboy and the lady fell in love. Yippee! The buffalo no longer roam. Yippee, where the Navajo once lived, they built a home. Now they rock a cradle somewhere on the prairie where the cowboy and the lady. Fell in love. Yippee, where the buffalo no longer roam. Yippee, where the Navajo once lived, 
they build a home And now they rock the cradle Somewhere on the prairie Where the cowboy and the lady fell in love Ladies and gentlemen, here's a statement that means a great deal to any smoker. Yes, it's practically the same as putting money into your pocket. Avalon cigarettes, highest quality cigarettes, cost you three to five cents less per pack than other popular price brands. Think what that means, friends. It means you can have all the high quality you demand in your cigarettes and still save three to five cents on every pack. And make no mistake about it, that systematic saving of several cents on every pack of cigarettes you smoke means many, many dollars saved a year. Now, please get this point. You can pay more, but you can't get finer quality cigarettes than Avalon's. They're 100% union made from the world's choicest Turkish and domestic tobaccos and blended with a skill that cannot be surpassed. You'd never guess they cost you less. You have everything to gain. So give Avalon's a trial tonight. gives us a brand new arrangement of a brand new tune. Sing a song of sunbeams from Bing Crosby's latest picture, East Side of Heaven. Shelton has walked out on us, and uh, as you all know, this is Open House Week in radio, so tonight, Red has invited the whole gang over to his house for a little party. Now, maybe if we hurry, we can catch up with him. Yeah? Yeah, he and Miss Stillwell are right in front of the house now. Well, here we are. Boy, this is the kind of a house I've always dreamed about. So have I, only I call them nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's home sweet home to me. Well, not so loud. People will think you're a termite. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, wait till you get inside. You'll love it. It's got all the conveniences. Day and night burglar service, ventilated roof, hot and cold running, water bugs. <laughs> Do you call those conveniences? Sure, and if I ask the landlord, he'll even put in a bathtub. <laughs> well, let's go in. Do you have a key? Yep, next month the landlord's gonna put a door on the place. <laughs> Come on, now, step right into a real air-conditioned house. Air-conditioned? Ooh, 
You better send it back and have it reconditioned. Yeah. Now, look here. You've said just about enough about my... Uh-oh. What was that noise? That was my uncle upstairs. He's a nice fellow, only he's a little reckless. In fact, he came home tonight reckless to the gill. <laughs> He'll be roaming all over the house later. Gee, I wish that gang would hurry up and come with those presents. Oh, presents? Uh, well... Did you tell them this was your birthday? Well, not exactly. I didn't say it was my birthday. I, I uh, said, uh, I hear a screwball celebrating two-day birthday this week, and I, I hope it if they think it's me. <laughs> well, gee, oh, look, here comes the whole crowd together. Uh, oh, hiya, Phil Davis. Hiya, skinny pants. <laughs> say, what kind of a tough neighborhood is this? I stepped into a drugstore to get weighed, and a scale chased me three blocks. <laughs> Don't let it worry you, Phil. Let me have your coat. Say, it's a nice-looking coat you got here. Yeah, it's all wool. And a yard wide. <laughs> well, here's a present I brought for you, skinny pants. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, Phil, you shouldn't have done it. Oh, no, you shouldn't have done it and got your head knocked off. <laughs> Say, I think I'll roam around the house, skinny pants, and see if I can find some groceries. <laughs> Okay, Phil, if you find any, let me know, will you? <laughs> Boy, everybody eats like things uh, are free. Ah, Mr. Skelton, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> the landlord. You're just the guy I've been looking for. Uh, how did you find the house, Mr. Skelton? Well, I ride an hour on the bus, walk three miles, push aside a few weeds, and there it is. <laughs> But you have no complaints. I shouldn't wonder. Yeah, listen, I got plenty to complain about. The first thing's that breakfast nook. Why, that thing's so small, I gotta use condensed milk in my coffee. <laughs> oh, that's nothing at all. The last tenant swallowed an olive in that breakfast nook, and they had to operate to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> then another thing, that roof leaks like a sieve. It does? Yeah. Then I'll have to charge you $3 extra for a shower bath. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Another thing, that cellar's half full of water. That'll be $5 extra for a swimming pool. <laughs> and you better quit. You're complaining yourself right into bankruptcy. Oh, this is your pretty little secretary, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> My, but you're beautiful. Where did you get such big, rosy cheeks? <laughs> My father used to be a glass blower. <laughs> I must be going. I want to sell a friend of mine a beach umbrella. I love to put over a shady deal. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's silly. Say, hey, hiya there, Skelton. Hiya, Foley. <laughs> Say, Skelton, now, here's a present for you. A nice pair of pajamas. Oh, gee, thanks a lot, Foley. Say, by the way, uh, do you have a charge account at Stacy's department store? Why, no, I haven't. Well, you have now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, Skelton, uh... Where's the... Oh, uh, uh, just through that door, turn to your left and follow the clothesline. <laughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Skelton. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, hi Hercules. Hercules. You look tired. Kind of loose and limp. Oh, I took a bath tonight, and I can't do a thing with me. <laughs> Oh, here's your present, Mr. Skelton. I don't know whether you'll like it or not, but I brought you a picture of me. Oh, Herky, that's swell. A picture of you sure is a nice present. <laughs> what else you bring? Good heavens. <laughs> my. Why, isn't the old clown mercenary? <laughs> Say, how do you like my house, Herky? Well, I'm telling you when words simply fail me, so I'll use letters. P U. <laughs> Now, oh, listen, Herky, you may not know this, but one night, George Washington slept here. He must have been slugged. <laughs> and what's that hanging over the fireplace? That's my uncle. <laughs> well, I guess this is the linen closet. Yeah, but we keep the linen in the coal bin. In the coal bin? Yeah. Well, where do you keep the coal? Well, we keep the coal in the china closet, and we keep the china in the bread box. Well, what do you keep in the linen closet? My uncle. <laughs> Oh, here's Filzy Wilsy and Folsy Wolsey. Oh, isn't this Jowsy Wowsy just like a mark? Say, <laughs> skinny pants, what kind of a party is this anyway? Well, there's no food or cake or anything around here. Well, you fellas don't like cake, do you? Sure, we like it fine. Well, that's funny. You didn't bring any. 
<laughs> well, my goodness, Mr. Skelton, haven't you got anything to liven up the party? Oh, gee, I'm sorry, fellas. I forgot all about that. Tell you, I'll go down the corner and get a pint. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah, yes, wait a minute. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I better make that a quart. I'll be right back. Well, that's pretty nice, sir. Oh, say, that. fellas, I forgot to ask you about that quart. What'll it be? Chocolate or vanilla? Oh, wait. I'd... <laughs> sings the plaintive lover's lament, Be still, my heart. Be still, my heart. I can tell who's knocking at my door. Love has come to say that we must part. Be still, my heart. Just read those eyes. don't know where to start Even though you know they're telling lies Be still my heart He hears the rumbling of a drum It bids him come and he must go He's leaving me and leaving you For someone new and though we'll miss him so, we'll never let him know. Don't cry, my heart, even though our love has gone away. He'll be coming back to us someday, still my heart. I'm little Sir Reckle, lum tum lum tum Hello, Skelton. Hello, Skelton. Hey, now, you're going to start that echo stuff again? Echo stuff again? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I've got to make an announcement about Avalon cigarettes. Avalon cigarettes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh cut, cut it out. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, friends, friends, when you buy Avalons, you get the choicest Turkish and domestic tobaccos that have been blended together with rare skill to give you an extra smooth, delightfully mild, thoroughly enjoyable smoke. Hmm. I guess Skelton quit. Guess Skelton quit. <laughs> Remember, friends... Remember, friends... Avalons are three to five cents less per pack than other popular price other brands. Other popular price brands. But you'd never guess... They cost you less. I mean, you'd never guess... <laughs> Well, I guess that finishes you and your echo, Skelton, getting all mixed up there. <laughs> you know, so the you next go. time, friends, ask for Avalon cigarettes. And don't forget your change. And don't forget your change. <laughs> I'll fix this guy. What are you saying? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm a nut. Uh, you said it. <laughs> Oh, you think you're pretty smart, don't you, huh? Smart guy, huh? Well, just for that... Just I... for that red bull in the Avalon course, we'll give us a little more of this, a little Sir Echo. Carry on, will little you, Red? Sir Echo, carry on. <laughs> little Sir Echo, how do you do? Hello. Hello, Hello, little Sir Echo, 
I'm very blue. Hello. 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 Won't you come over and play? You're a nice little fellow. I know by your voice, but you're always so far away. Saga, a story of one of Red Skelton's ancestors, Robin Hood Skelton. We now take you back to the year 1191, when Robin Hood Skelton and his band of merry men roamed Sherwood Forest in England. As we look in on a sylvan glade, we find Robin blowing his horn. All right, little boy blue. Put that thing down before it explodes in your face. Oh, uh, Verily, I need this horn to call my men, Verily. Well, they don't need one for what they're calling you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, where are we at? The, uh... <laughs> it's a fine thing. If a guy prank can't practice on a horn out in the woods, where am I going to go? You're asking me, a lady. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who am I supposed to ride, uh, rob today? Dame Stillwell? Nobody. One of your spies just came in. He says the sheriff of Nottingham is out for, at, looking for you again. <laughs> Wonder what a guy gets for a job like that. Oh, being sheriff, he's probably doing it for Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, wish that guy would let me alone. All I ask is a chance to make a dishonest dollar. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever spot me in the woods with my new Lincoln green suit. Hey, how do you like this green suit? Well, with those legs, all you need is a few warts and you'll look like a frog. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's get down to business. What will I do with that bag of gold you stole from the Earl of... Clove. Cloves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's keep punching here. We're doing all right. The laughs are coming good. The uh, people, what will I do with the money? You better give it to the orphans, the widows, and last year's sweepstake winners. And what about that letter you sent to Sir Crumpot? Oh, you mean that night letter? Yeah. You know, you told him you'd send... For, if he didn't send 5,000 pounds in gold, you were going to steal his wife? Yeah. Did he send it? No, but he says he's interested in your proposition. That's good. Oh. <laughs> what ho, Robin Hood? What ho, little John? The sheriff of Nottingham is now entering Sherwood Forest with 190 men. He can't. And I've only got 35 men. What's the matter? You afraid he's going to lick you? No, but he's got me outnumbered. So bad that I'm afraid some of his men will get away. <laughs> Chop down some of the trees. That'll hold them back. That's no good. As fast as we chop them down, they chop them up. Yeah. <laughs> Obey orders, little John. You're a hard man, Robin Hood. Right, and I'll lick any man in the woods who says nay. Nay. The eyes have it. Motion is carried. I think you're scared of little John. What, Dame Stillwell? You think I'm scared of little John? I do. And you, little John, do you agree with Dame Stillwell when she says I'm scared of you? I do. Then I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> oh, goody, 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 goody. Oh, there you are, Robin Hood. <laughs> Goodness me, I've been looking all over for you. Well, if it ain't Alan a drool. <laughs> and I certainly hope you've got a needle and thread I can borrow. Why? 
I want to take a tuck in Friar Tuck. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Let me at that young whippersnapper. Let me at him. Friar Tuck? Oh, for goodness sake, Robin Hood, save me. Now, wait a minute, Friar Tuck. Take it easy. What's this all about? Well, good heavens, I just wanted him to help me find my arrow. Yeah, where was your arrow? Stuck in my, uh, my back. <laughs> well, can I help it if you look like a bull moose? <laughs> It was an accident, Firetuck. Accident nothing. He's been sticking arrows in me as far back as the Inquisition. <laughs> I'll let him go this time, Robin Hood, but I'll fix him if he keeps puncturing my dignity. <laughs> oh, you sure saved my hide from a tanning that time, Robin Hood. Yeah. And if there's anything I can oh, do... Oh, go I... away. I'm busy. Go fly a kite. Go fly a kite? Oh, yeah, right. get out of here, will you? What are we going to do about the sheriff, Robin Hood? You better station some of my arches in the trees. They can't climb trees. They keep falling out. Well, then let them stay on the ground. I can't have the people to say that Robin Hood has falling arches. <laughs> Hand me my horn, Dame Stillwell, so I can call me merry men. <laughs> Hail, my trusty yo men. Yes, yes. Soon we'll be going into action, my yo men. Yes, yes. Hey, wait a minute. What are yes men or yo men? Mice! <laughs> Mice, eh? You ain't kidding me. I know a rat when I see one. <laughs> Get your bows and all of you get stationed, ready for action. Hey, somebody's taking the string from my bow. Yeah, my bow string's yeah. gone too. Yeah, it's the string is gone from my bow too. Oh, Robin Hood, look, I'm doing it. <laughs> Who cares what you're doing? And I had an awful time getting the strings off the bows. Well, you took the strings off the bows? Well, for goodness sakes, didn't you tell me to go fly a kite? <laughs> We had a lot of fun tonight. We'd like to stay on for another half hour, but our time on this network is up. So all we want you to do is remember this. When you ask for Avalon cigarettes... Don't forget your chain. Yes, Avalon cigarettes, dear friends, cost several cents less than others. You too can save this difference like all of us Avalon brothers. Each pack is wrapped in cellophane. Each pack is union-made. No wonder folks from coast to coast say Avalon sees a parade. Yes, 
guess, you'd never guess, but Avalon's cost only 10 cents, plus city or state tax. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for listening to Avalon Time. And next week, bring along a friend and try an Avalon. Thanks a lot. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's show, and we cordially invite you to be with us next Saturday evening at the same time when the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation will again present Avalon Time. Del King speaking. Good night, everybody. Time originated in the studios of the nation station and has reached you through the National Broadcasting Company. WEAF, New York, 9 p.m., BULOVA, Watch Time.